we're building intelligence and automation capabilities more powerful, less predictable, and much less controllable than anything humanity has ever unleashed previously. So we've moved past hackers. The adversary is AI itself in many cases. Phishing used to be really easy to spot unless you were either really stupid or you just weren't really looking at what you were reading. Now it's it's getting really tough. AI writes the phishing words, it cracks the passwords, bypasses captures and even personalizes the bait. If you're doing phishing without AI, your success rate is around 10, maybe 15%. They found it goes up to above 50 if you're using AI. North Korean groups have already been caught using deep fakes to apply for jobs at Western companies, we know that. Uh, literally putting AI-generated faces in Zoom calls. So the first candidate forgot to switch the AI on. So I had a North Korean gentleman there pretending <laughs> to be from the Czech Republic. <laughs> yeah. AI excels at translation, language generation, media not automational decision intelligence. We have to bring this up. There are no incidents of actual true intelligent automation around. The attackers don't publish white papers. The reports that we read are a lack. So malware like Firewood have shown self-evolving adaptive behaviors, rewriting themselves to survive. That's autonomy and everything but name. It's good enough to outpace humans at finding vulnerabilities. And that's all the attackers need, I would say. So yes, a breach is not one vulnerability. You have to evade all of the defenses. You have to get to the end of the attack. And I think that if you build up infrastructure, if something brute forces its way through, it's not going to be comfortable. Oh, contentious.